the one aware of the body, the Kshetranya, is conscious presence, Satchitananda, in which all the changes occur. The Kshetranya. That in your direct experience right now, recognize this is not speculative. How many changes and changes and changes have you been aware of since this, this talk has been happening? <clears throat> in some moments, might have been good, some might have been frustrating. How has the lamppost changed? You know? Pockets of crap. How has clay changed? Right? Clay is clay. So small pot says, wait a minute. I don't know. I've been so insecure. This guy beats me up all the time. He got my girlfriend. Insecure pot complex. And you're saying that I'm not a small pot? No, you're a clay. The clay is that which we all come and go back to. That's our clay is flawless, is, is ever present. Is I never what are you talking about? No, you're clay, look, look at this fellow. He's oh he's a big bully. He's got everything he needs. I, I'm never going to be the same as him. I'm small and pitiful. He's clay. He's clay. You're clay. What? So this guy starts hearing this. Oh, I keep taking it out. This guy starts hearing it over here. He says, what are you talking about? You're saying that I'm the same as that little runt? Uh, go get that. This fellow can't be taught. Just... Let's have some tea. Wait a minute. Pot? Clay? Tell me more. Every week, Wednesday. So the dialogue begins. Satyam is the clay. Kshetranya is the conscious presence, the no word. The known is not conscious, it is the object. I'm going to pause for some silence, a little chant, and we'll move into Q&A. Subject and object teaching is being set up. We're going to look at this in Vidigdrisha Viveka and the implications further on, tools for daily life and values of handling our emotions, uh, the verses 7 through 12, behavioral, experiential discussion, different than this segment of it. That's why this combination is very beautiful. And we'll be in these few verses well into August. Uh, if you could dim the lights, please. I actually get comfortable, I may just do a little of this observation here. We didn't do the whole meditation. Again, I will say that every class does start with meditation. Today we, we use that for intro. Notice now your awareness of your room. Since we've been listening, maybe stay with sound and wherever you are. Conscious of noticing each sound. Some may be distinct, some may roll into others. Some may be outside, some may be in the body, the heartbeat, the breath. It may be very quiet where you are and you have to barely hear anything. But that silence has a quality. Whatever your ear is landing on, be there conscious, present. You notice the contact with the earth or your seat, <clears throat> texture, firmness, softness.
direct experience, sensory, kshetra, aware of this body I am, idam shariram. Saying me, my body is not accurate. As I observe now, awareness of legs in contact with seat, touch. Conscious of the legs I am, idam legs, idam sharidam, this body is more accurate, not me, more my body. See the meaning now, your direct experience, aware of the sensation I am. An object of perception is the field. It is the same field that is a tree, that is a cloud, that is a mountain. Object, object, object. Idam sariram. I am the conscious one aware of the mountain, aware of the tree. Aware of Vidam Sharidam now, this body. I am aware of this body now. Slowly allow yourself to receive how you illumine each of the five senses now. In the light to lamppost you are shining. Each of the five senses comes through. We'll let that be for a little bit. As you receive each of something from the five senses arising in my conscious presence and moving on. The whole time aware I am the changeless Chitranya, aware of the changes in all the senses now in my direct experience aware of all the changes in the kshetra, in this idam sharidam, ever changing. Listen to what it needs, it wants to talk to you. It says, how can you listen to me if you don't see me as an object? Don't take me to be you, I'm here to be seen. I'm here to be heard, idam sharidam. I'm here to be felt. Idam Sharidam. You can know me by smell, Idam Sharidam. You can know me by sight, the light, the fire, Idam Sharidam. You can know me by earth, by touch, the warmth, touch me, Idam Sharidam. The rhythm, the pulse, you can know me by touch. Direct experience now. Don't show you ask, are you listening? Chitran Yuham
Chaitranyo Ham Chaitranyo Ham Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnam Mudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamada Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari Om My body is supposed to be charging. You'll see me go slow sometimes. I'm trying to listen, give it what it needs. It's a beautiful thing. <clears throat> so, the last verse, Pudnamida, Pudnamida Mantra, we'll, do, we'll turn it up. Um, I'll post that verse, that verse, that chant. It's okay. So now, one more thing else I want to do. Mm -hmm. Namo 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 Om Bhagavan Om Bhagavan. Do this part together. Om Bhagavan. Om Bhagavan. I've got out of the way. If something else comes up, it comes up. I'll post any chance that we do. And we'll do that one over and over. I also work on the Gita Dhyanam, a beautiful invo invocation to study the Gita. At this point, question and answer. If you could pull up your, uh, let's see if um, anybody shows up. And we'll start in here. And also, I will leave time for.